Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Chart Reading. We are live musicians reading charts on a stage. Now, I might as well take this time to tell you, since I have this chart pulled up, that I have a dual method to my madness. Uh, one is to show the world that this can be done, and two, uh, to help church musicians. Uh, in the contemporary church, as most people know who go to church, we have rock bands or worship bands, and uh, there's charts flying around all over the place, and there's many levels of skill and abilities. And so this is kind of to help my church, the one that I work at, to get everybody on the same page, um, but hopefully it'll help everybody else too. So I have chosen a worship song that would be played in a typical contemporary Christian church for their worship service. And the music here uh, pretty much follows closely to what we think of as pop music, uh, but sometimes it can it can go off in its own little world for a while, uh, where we have open sections that repeat over and over again, and then we go to kind of a another part of the song that, say, a radio hit would not ever do, um, because this is not for radio. This is for a live uh, experience. And so this is a perfect opportunity to introduce the first and the second ending. We've covered counting from left to right, um, our slashes, which help us keep the time. We've uh, labeled our sections. We've we've established a four bar line. So as you're looking, you'll see four bars, four bars, four bars, four bars, four bars. So it keeps it looking real good. You'll notice there's a bunch of words here and some chord. These are chord symbols up here. Don't let those confuse you. Please look at this and extract from what you know already. There's a bar. There's a bar. There's a bar. And they all have four counts to them. And all these words are showing up, but don't worry because you know where you are. This is a verse, section A, bar five, and you just start counting. Don't let that fool you. Don't let that fool you. It's still one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we're still keeping our discipline of counting fours and staying on track on the chart. So now this song, Acquitted by Jeremy Edwardson and Jeremy Riddle, employs a new concept down here. A first ending and a second ending. The bracket with the numbers. Now, uh, in the last screencast, we talked about repeats. And repeats are always pointing inward to each other. If you see one of these, then there's got to be another one that it's tied to. And if you saw it already, it's right up here. Which means, if we just follow the rules that we've already established, we play A all the way through, 16 bars, B, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a little double bar. There's a ninth bar. Don't don't be confused yet. We'll explain all that and we'll hear it in the music. Uh, then at the end of that bar, three, four, bounce back, one. Now the difference between that and an ending is just on a repeat, we would go back and repeat everything and play those bars again and then keep going. What this bracket does is it highlights these two bars and it means play them only the first time you come around to this section. Okay? So, I'm playing A, 16 bars, going into the B section, which is a chorus. And if this is my first time playing this part of the song, then I play those, I play through into the first ending, and then I bounce back to A. When I come around again, the highlighted bars here, I do not play, which means as I'm going 25, 2, 3, 4, 26, 2, 3, 4, 27, 2, 3, don't let those notes fool you, There's just count to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, skip, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the second ending, okay? If there is a, sec if there is a first ending written, just like a repeat sign, there is a second ending written and they've got to match or they've got to coincide with each other. Okay? Cool. So let's check out what that means in this chart. Two, four, one, two, three. This is the repeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, here we go, A. By sacrifice, God's perfect son gave up his life to ransom back the lost and dead, paying the price, justice demands as he was spoken. Yep. <clears throat> now you could have written a note back here about coming in and start playing. Now we're here. Two, three, four. Okay, coming up on the end of a section. Double bar and chorus. Don't get confused by the notes, still just count four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and bam, two. So you see what happened there. Keep going. Chorus. Two, three, four, three. Okay, again, concentrate. We got to count four. One, two, three, skip. One, two, second ending, and go on. One, two, three, four, two, three. So this is still a chorus, but I had to write it out. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And this is it. Notice that the music stops, but we keep counting. Two, three, four. We're over here now. One, two, three, four. Still counting. So that gets the idea. So notice we did not play this. And if you get confused with notes, look for your bar lines. Those are called bar lines and that's what makes our bars or our, our measures, the, the lines that go up and down. Just find the next bar line, count four. I know it's confusing because all these notes, they have those stems and so they can look like bar lines. If you have to, anything that sticks out in the chart or something that you should notice, circle it, put a star by it, do it in red ink, anything, um, especially if your lighting's bad. So. Do what you have to do. Highlight it um, so that you see all the road signs because really that's what's the most important thing here. So cool. So let's recap what a first ending does. First ending outlines the bars that you will play the first time you come around and it always leads you to a repeat that bounces you back to a previous repeat. When you come around again, you skip the bracketed bars and go to the second ending. One, two, three, four, skip, two, three, four, and then you're on with the rest of the chart, uh, and then you read it down. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we're going to get into the coda. Crazy stuff, but I think you can handle it. Thanks.